everyone, I'm Donna Downey from Donna Downey Studios and I'm going to be showing you all the versatility that the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft line can do. The first techniques I'm going to be showing you are using the Gelato line from Design Memory Craft. They are in a wide array of colors and I'm going to show you some techniques with water and some techniques without to incorporate into your art projects. This next technique is an embossed resist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some ultra thick embossing enamel and I'm going to use some distress ink and I'm going to stamp my images onto this plain white piece of cardstock. Then I'm going to put the gelatos on top and show you how that UT will resist. If you've never used UT before, it's basically small granules of plastic and when you heat them, they'll melt and they'll create this plastic looking resin on top of your page. Now you're just going to pour it on top and this is special embossing ink so you will see that the powder will stick to your image. Anything that falls away is totally reusable. Once you've got the entire image coated, then you'll take your heat gun and melt it so that all those crystals turn to a glossy shine. And I'm just going to sit and heat gun my crystals and come back with a finished piece. So I'm going to take my red and my orange gelato. And I'm going to act as if these embossed images aren't even there. And I'm going to color this in. And then once I finish filling the page with color, I'm going to take some water, spritz it, activate that color into watercolor, and then wipe away all of the color that's sitting on top of the UT image with a baby wipe. Now once I finish activating all this color, I'm going to let this sit for about a minute so that the paper absorbs as much of the color as it can. You don't want to take a heat gun to this because if you do, you'll activate the UT and melt it back. So I'm just going to let this naturally dry and I will be back to show you the results. So now that I have the watercolor dry on top of the UT, I'm able to take a baby wipe and just wipe over the whole piece and what will happen is the color will come directly off of the UT but stay on the background. And if you have to flip the baby wipe over to get a cleaner side, just continue to do that until it gets as bright as you want it to be.